Hi guys, welcome back to my kitchen. It is Devin. It is somewhere around week two of quarantine and I've really, really been experimenting with a lot of yummy recipes lately, which has actually been a lot of fun. And one of the recipes that I'm whipping up for tonight is a recently discovered, not recently discovered recipe because I've been eating it forever. And some of you may or may not have heard of a restaurant in New York called Carbone. It is my all time favorite restaurant. It's just this really, really good, yummy, filling Italian food. It's so good. Anyways, my favorite thing at this restaurant is the spicy rigatoni. And if you have had the spicy rigatoni, then you will understand the obsession that I have with this pasta. It is so good. It seems so simple, but it literally is so good. So what I've done for you guys is I've made my version of the spicy rigatoni pasta. Um, I've kind of been playing around with the ingredients and some recipes, trying to find what they've used. And I think I've kind of got the magic thing going on here. So I don't have rigatoni. Unfortunately, my pasta maker doesn't have a homemade rigatoni thing, which I'm literally gonna buy after this. But this pasta that I have is Toscani Organic Pasta. And it's actually a really cool shape, if you can see. I'm just gonna use that. I think that will absorb. Um, the sauce is very thick, so you want like something like a shell or a rigatoni or a penny, something that's gonna coat and absorb that thick, delicious sauce. And yeah, so let's just aim review the ingredients. You've got your pasta. Heavy whipping cream, butter, garlic I've chopped up, red pepper flakes, tomato paste, whole roasted tomatoes, and I'm also doing diced tomatoes because I didn't wanna, I'm kind of like sizing down a little bit. It usually makes for like six people, I'm making it for like three. And then I've got some onions which I have sliced super, super thin with a mandolin. Um, yeah, and then the last surprise ingredient to this is kind of random but it's vodka. And I actually read online that the vodka, same like the butter and the heavy cream, gets rid of the acidity in the tomatoes, so it makes it really, really smooth and sweet, and yeah, it just kind of helps break down that aspect of it. This also, I would use um, chili paste if I had, but I don't, so. This is gonna make do with our red pepper flakes, that would be our spice. So yeah, to get started, I've just prepped everything, chopped my garlic, sliced my onions, and first things first, I've got two pans, one large saucepan and one medium saucepan. I'm gonna do the onions in one, and then I'm gonna do the rest of the sauce in the other. Okay, so first things first, I've got my butter going in my medium-sized skillet. And I'm gonna just add my onions in. And I'm just gonna add a little bit of salt to help those render down. And those are gonna cook for like five to 10 minutes until they're nice and soft and tender. Careful because they're so thinly sliced that they'll cook super, super fast. You don't wanna burn them. This looks like a lot of onions, so I'm kind of gonna make the sauce and then add them in last. I'm gonna assess how much exactly I want to add. This was a huge onion. Okay, so over here, I'm gonna get some, a good healthy pouring of olive oil. Got it on a medium heat here. Add in my garlic. And I'm gonna saute that just a little bit in that olive oil and get that cooking. Give this a stir over here. All right, that's starting to brown up a little bit. I'm gonna add in my tomato paste. It's gonna be about a tablespoon and a half. Let's see how that does. Stir that in. Add in my tomatoes. All right, that's where it's at. That's the good stuff. If you had more people, I'd probably do two, two big ones like this. But it's just us three tonight. Tablespoon and a half of sugar. 
stir it up and we're gonna let this simmer for about 15 minutes and just combine all the yummy ingredients. Meanwhile, I'll check on my onions here. All right, so I'm gonna just let this simmer 15 minutes, let those onions finish cooking, and I'll see you back here in a little bit. Totally forgot an important step. Supposed to add a half a cup of water to the onion mixture. That'll help make them really soft and cooked. My bad. So from the beginning, half cup water and butter. Here we go. I'm gonna add in the rest of my butter here. All right, while this pasta sauce has been simmering, go ahead and add your shot of vodka. That was a little small. There we go. Help the acidity and those tomatoes break down. It's gonna make the sauce amazing. Okay, so my onions are looking good now. I'm gonna just turn the heat off and those can cool for a little while. I don't want them fully caramelized, just very soft like this. Sauce has been simmering. I'm gonna add in a good heaping of chili flakes since I don't have any chili oil or paste. Now, if you don't have an immersion blender, you can totally add this to a normal blender. I just like to get, you can keep the chunks in there, but I personally like to get out all the chunks. This sauce is like really smooth. Like vodka sauces don't usually have too big of chunks. So I'm gonna use an immersion blender. Let's hope this doesn't explode in my face. There we go. All right, that looks pretty good. Alrighty, I'm gonna add in my onion mixture now. I'm gonna just start with uh, half or so and see how it looks. I'm also gonna add in a third cup of heavy cream. Let's see how that looks. So when you cook the pasta, you're gonna wanna take like a half a cup out after the, of the water before you drain it and you're gonna to wanna to add it in this sauce and that's how you control how thick and thin it is. Cause this will thicken up now that I've got the heavy cream in it and it simmers. See the onions? Mm. Just deciding if how much onion I want. I want too much. I think that's kind of perfect on the amount of onion to be honest. Maybe just a tad bit more, but I don't wanna overdo it. Now I'm gonna add in a little salt and pepper. I've already salted it, so I don't want to do too much. Dash more heavy cream. I want it to be that beautiful pink sauce. Good thing I'm not wearing white. If I tried to cook this, red sauce would be all over me. Now's when you want to give it a little bit of a taste try just to taste for salt levels or sugar levels or spice levels. I'm gonna have this simmer for a while longer, but I just want to taste, just a taste. Mmm. It's really, really good. Spice is good, salt's good. I'm gonna add a touch bit more sugar because the one that I love is like a little sweet and spicy. Give that a stir and then I'm gonna just let this simmer on low for as long as I possibly can. It's gonna be delicious. Okay, so this has basically been simmering for a couple hours while I've, whilst I've been organizing and it's looking really, really good. I'm gonna just put it on like a high simmer now, just because I don't want it to cook anymore. I just want it to kind of stay warm until I'm ready. It's gotten pretty thick, as you can see, um, so I'll probably definitely want to add some pasta water when I'm ready to cook that pasta. Okay, so my sauce has been simmering for a while. It's gotten super thick, as you guys have seen. I'm gonna just pop in the pasta to cook. Let me do that. But pasta's cooking five to seven minutes. I'm gonna save a little bit of the water before I strain it out. That way when I stir it into the sauce, I can control how saucy and how thick it is. And voila, it's done. I've taken some panko breadcrumbs. I've toasted them and added a little bit of chili powder and garlic salt just to make a little spicy breadcrumbs from the side. And yeah, I'm really excited. Okay, so I just drained the pasta. 
As you can see, this sauce is very thick, so I'm just gonna stir in some pasta water, kinda thin it out a little bit so it coats the pasta nicely. There we go, much better. Don't want it too chunky. Okay, I'm gonna move this to the side. Pop over here. Add in my pasta. I just wanna put it in separately because I'm not 100% sure how much sauce I'm gonna need, so I'm gonna just ladle some in and stir as I go. Let's see how this is. Just a little more water. It's looking really good. A little more sauce. Alrighty. That looks perfect. Okay, now you just have to plate it. Alrighty. These are the finished products. They look so good. Spicy breadcrumbs on top, the Parmesan. Bon appetit.